Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shai, Bahasim, Rokakadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, and good will. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect, pushing the true doctrine, about the four winds of the earth, and all truth and in sincerity. I'm Lamont Ariyak in the Mystic Account. Lord willing, this be at a fine lesson. And this is just a quick lesson through the Spirit. And just kind of going into how we got to have faith in Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shai. That, you know, in the days to come, you know, when all this craziness goes down, when Esau starts shutting everything down again, you know, getting food, water, you know, things of that nature are not going to be accessible as it is today, you know. Not going to be able to just go to a grocery store and get you some water, some food, or, you know, whatever, you know, your heart's desire, if you will. But we got to have faith in how about some of shot that, you know, he's going to deliver. We got to believe that the Lord is going to give us our daily bread. As it is written in uh, our prayer, okay, in the book of Matthew, you know, we got to believe that. You know, we ask the Lord to give us this day our daily bread. And if you don't believe that, then it's going to be. It's not going to be a good for you because that means you don't believe that the Lord is a man of his word or that he's going to do what he says he's going to do. He said he's not a man that he can lie. Okay. So I'm going to get a couple of scriptures here and I'm going to close it out. Okay. We're first going to go into the book of, uh, going first into the book of, Um, first book Isaiah chapter 65 verse 13 therefore trust therefore thus said the Lord Yahweh behold my servants shall eat but ye shall be hungry behold my servants shall drink but ye shall be thirsty behold my servants shall rejoice but ye shall be ashamed so if you're a servant of Yahweh Bashimi Shah and you're doing this work in the will of Yahweh Bashimi Shah in all truth and in sincerity, humbly, you know, wholeheartedly, then the Lord is going to take care of you, man. He's going to take care of us. He's going to take care of his elect because we're doing the things that the Lord has ordained us to do. Okay? We're standing boldly in the name of Yahweh Bashimi Shah delivering the message of the return of Yahweh Shai, salvation, okay, death, destruction, and the fall of his uh, uh, current kingdom under the nation of Esau Edom, okay, the Edomites, the so-called white race, you know, and if you turn away from wickedness and walk in the ways of righteousness to the best of your ability and do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, hey, you can best believe the Lord is going to take care of us, man. You just got to have faith and you got to truly believe. Okay. This is, uh, this is the book of Proverbs chapter 3, starting at verse 5. Trust in the Lord Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Right. So we just got to trust and believe in the Lord, man. And, you know, as go in the book of uh, Second Ezra, you know, though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, you know, the little ones, but they believe the things that I say. You know, roughly paraphrased. So, you know, as the scripture goes, you also, uh, faith is the something thing hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay? So, we have to truly believe, though we haven't seen Yahweh Shah come down with, you know, with our bodily eyes, we have not seen him physically. But you look around, you see Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The trees, the plants, okay, the animals, the sky, you know, the sun, the moon, the stars, the chariots. You know, it's evident. Though we have not seen uh, 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 Yahweh Shai himself, it's evident there's a, a, a true power, man. Okay? 
you know, but you, the spirit just has to be dealing with you to believe. Okay, this the, the gift of faith is is a beautiful gift to have, man. But not everyone is gonna have, get that gift. Not everyone is gonna have that that gift of faith to believe, you know, in things they haven't seen. That's how you know when spirit is truly dealing with a man. Okay. Verse six: In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. You know, and it goes to this old. Uh, church song, you know, order my steps and thy words, you know, which is a, a passage, man, in the scriptures, you know, and then you believe in the Lord, you do in his will, and you have faith, hey, the Lord is going to direct your steps, man, he's going to direct our steps in, in the way we should go, okay, even those difficult times, those, those evil times, the times to come when you think that you are not going to be able to be sustained, okay, the Lord is going to sustain us, man. He's going to sustain us through all aspects, man. Even when it seems like we, he's not. You know what I'm saying? He might not come when you want him, but he's always on time. He's always going to be right on time, man. Because the Lord is not going to put more on us than we can bear. Just like the account of Elijah, man. Okay? Matter of fact, we're gonna, I'm going to get to it. Because Elijah, that, that account with Elijah, man, that's, that's a... That's that's a that's a just a proven point, man. The Lord is gonna look out for his uh his servants. Okay, this is the book of first first Kings, chapter seventeen, starting at verse two. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto him, saying, Him talking about Elijah, right? Get get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook. And the brook careth that it that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. Verse 5. So he went and did according to what the word of the Lord Yahweh. The Lord is directing his steps. He gave him instructions, okay? He gave Elijah instructions, and Elijah followed those instructions, right? And by Elijah. Uh, uh, hearkening to the Lord, Yahweh, right? And follow the instructions, what happened? For he went and dwelt by the brook, correct, that is before Jordan, and ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook, right? And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain, and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get to thee Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So, so hey, the Lord is going to sustain us, man, as long as we, you know, believe and have faith, man, and follow those instructions, man, through the Spirit. Okay? And that's a prime example, man. I love this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, chapter, man, because it builds that faith and lets you know that the Lord is going to take care of his uh, servants, man. You know, and the scripture goes into, the scripture paraphrase how the Lord goes into how, you know, he feeds the fowls of the earth, you know what I'm saying, how much more his will, okay? So we just got to have, have faith and believe, you know, again, that through these difficult times that come in, these trying times that's coming, man, to not lose sight of, of what this mission is about, man, this uplift name, how about some of the so that the uh, 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 the Lord Yahweh shall come in and serve the righteous kingdom, man. Okay, and we will receive that glory. Okay, we receive those palms, those crowns, for what? Being faithful servants and not uh, uh, bending the knee to Baal, and having faith in Yahweh by seeing the outshot. Okay, enduring to the end. So, hey, Lord, one is another fine lesson. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, for our son, Yahweh, the Shah, for our son, the Shah. Of honor to our apostles and elders of the millstone that we love. Peace and salutations to the whole world. Shalom.